Hi friends, this is Sarah from Crafting and Relaxing, and today I'm taking you on a tour of my second craft room, essentially. That's Andrea, and she's pouring out in the shop. This is, she said I should make a before. It doesn't look that different after, but this gives you an idea. That red table is mine. It probably hadn't been cleaned since December, so about six months in this video. And you can see that I have a table for die cutting. There's a table where we dry Andrea's stuff. We've got stuff on the floor. I had stuff piled off to my left because it didn't all fit on my table. Just a little bit of everything. This is the area where we keep the messier stuff. We keep the paint pouring or the overflow from in my craft room and Noni's craft room. Just different stuff. I do a lot of my mixed media stuff out here. Anything that's really messy. Okay, this is the after. It looks slightly better, right? The table's tidy. You can see that we have the big Sizzix out there. That's the Big Shot Plus, I think. It's kind of heavy and neither one of us thought it was great, but we keep it, of course. Then a tray that has some dried paint skins on it. You never know what I'm going to do with those, but we keep them sitting around. These are Andrea's projects that she worked on. And look at that spindle. How cool did that one turn out? Turned out really cool. I love it. Then the papers there are for me to die cut and do whatever. Look at that one. Amazing cells and neat color. Look at those. Super cool. Then this one was supposed to match the spindle. She was making a project that they, they would be matching. And I messed it up see that part right there uh the <laughs> the cutting pad slipped onto it when it was wet so my bad happened in a split second I didn't even really see it happen and she picked it up off of there so that was definitely my fault under the table we have garbage bins and then additional supplies and she just leaves set up so all of that paper stays and sits look you can actually see my red tablecloth and the glass mat the blue thing is drying and then I have a paint skin that I might do something with and a canvas that I spilled a flood of ink one day I don't remember I might have posted on Instagram or something it was horrible the benches are empty it didn't occur to me till I made this video that they were empty then on the shelves off to the left you can see we keep overflows of canvas plastic tablecloths bags I spilled more blue ink on I know shocking different things tapes and random little things that we may or may not use it's just household items gathered there's the wrapping paper that I finally took off my table empty boxes for cutters and stuff that I have a tub of paint and brushes and skewers and popsicle sticks and napkins a lot of paint we have a lot of paint this is the paint bin for my house we keep that handy because you never know what we're going to want out of it brushes and tape and miscellaneous rag bin for the house very handy we keep it handy boxes that I saved I think I thought we were going to use them for drying canvases on we didn't use them canvases sitting there and then here's a roll of paper that you use like when you get your hardwood floors redone it's sitting over there in the corner and we can use it for covering our tables or putting paint skins on all sorts of things this is a box of Andrea's treasures. She uses a lot of those Dollar Tree paint pans. Dixie cups. She uses a lot of Dixie cups. Giant thing of Floetrol. These are all supplies and there were tiles sitting right there. Supplies that she uses for paint pouring. Those other things were just actual shop things. We don't care about those. Then I'm moving around to the other side so we can get closer and see some of the other supplies. There's Andrea's bag that she keeps her paper crafting etc and this was a storage thing that I was gonna get rid of and we filled it we filled it with ketchup bottles and funnels random plastic things we just go through our houses and gather things maybe it was something you were gonna donate maybe it was something that was gonna be trash or recycle paper cutters you've seen the paper cutter saga you knew there would be extras around here the top part is things I've been pulling out of my craft room in the house that I don't really know what I'm going to do with and random things we're going to put paint on. We put paint on everything. Medical tape, all kinds of things. It doesn't matter around here. This is Andrea's stuff that she likes to keep handy. So Mod Podge and some Tim Holtz products 
She has the distress paper mosaic glaze and the distress paper mosaic glue. I think she got them in a kit. She was just trying them and some golden gel. And that's a canvas that she made, but uh, she doesn't like that color on the corner. She's definitely going to redo that. That's just all dried paint that's ready to work on top of at a moment's notice and it sits there. Then you can see my table. If if we're doing a day with a bunch of us, we bring in more tables and we rearrange so that Katie isn't right next to Andrea with wet paint and a sewing machine. But this gives you an idea of how it's laid out most of the time. Look around your house, find a card table, a folding table, anything can be a craft space. The only thing about this area is that it gets super hot in the summer. I tried to have it as my actual craft room last year and in August I gave up and moved into the house. There are windows and the sun hits them in the afternoon. You have to get up early to craft in here. And I kept having troubles with my glues. They were just getting too hot. So be creative and find a place around your house that works. It doesn't have to be big. Thanks so much for watching and I hope you're taking time for crafting and relaxing. Bye-bye.